Oh, God, Greg, wake up. What? You fell asleep. I know, you were wonderful. No, I wasn't. Neither were you. We fell asleep in the middle. What? Well, not the middle, middle, the beginning, middle. Either way, it was way ahead of schedule. <laughs> Wow, so I dreamt all that other stuff? I think I'm gonna cry. Norma, it's okay, we were tired. Oh, Greg, we're so married. Do you wanna try again? Yes, we have to finish, come on, chop, chop! I can't just pick up where we left off, I have to start from the beginning. Well, where are you going? Uh, brush my teeth. Remember when we were first married and it didn't matter and we didn't care? Okay, well, you're already on your way. You know, we're fine. Of course we're fine. We're fine. We are Mr. and Mrs. Fine. <laughs> I mean, I taught three yoga classes yesterday. I was taking depositions till 10. So we're tired, so we fell asleep. During sex. During sex. <laughs> Lobby of the Trans-America Building, noon yesterday, bye. <laughs> she took our duck. Why did she take our duck? Um, it's just a little game we play, used to play. What kind of game? It's really kind of silly, actually. I mean, whoever has sex in the weirdest place gets to keep the duck. <laughs> so how did we get the duck? Remember that time we did it in the trolley car? Wait a minute, we... we did that to get a duck? No! <laughs> no, we did it because we were newlyweds and we were mad like, yeah. Now your victory lap makes sense. Are you mad at me? I don't know. I sure wasn't at the time. Don't worry, it'll never happen again. I mean, because now Jane's got the duck. But she should, you know? Because she's young, she's single, we're married, you know. I mean, our relationship is way more mature. I mean, we are more... <laughs> mature. Go put on something with snaps or Velcro. We got work to do. What are you talking about? We're getting that duck back. <laughs> U.S. Attorney, huh? Yep. He knows Janet Reno. Son of a gun. <laughs> hey, Lou, have we ever caught a U.S. Attorney making whoopee on the Bart before? I don't think so. <laughs> hey, listen, could I get a Polaroid of you guys? We kind of have this wackiest collar contest going. Sure. <laughs> Smile, honey. <laughs> this could beat the streaking rabbi. <laughs> There they are. Oh, jeez, are you kids okay? Show, oh, yeah. Didn't I teach you to always make a run for it? We tried, Larry, but, um, Greg tripped on his pants, didn't you, honey? <laughs> okay, well, don't worry, baby. We'll get you out of here. We'd like to post bail, please. Sure, just yeah. fill this out. Wait a minute, Mel? Officer Mel? Abby? Abby O'Neill? Oh, yeah. oh, my God, look! Larry, it's Officer Mel! Mel, you old pig, how the hell are you? Freaky 
Finkelstein. Oh, man, Dermot, do you remember Officer Mel? Oh, no, no, she's not going to remember me. You were breastfeeding her the last time I arrested you guys. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Hey, was it the anti-nuke thing? No, it was the pro-breastfeeding thing. That's right. Yeah. That I held you all the way to the station after we cuffed your mom. Isn't that sweet, honey? You know that little card you have with your baby fingerprints on it? <gasps> Mel did that! <laughs> I love that thing, Mel. Thank you. Uh, hey, listen, I didn't know this was your daughter. Give me that back. Your bail is no good here. Oh, my God. Oh, man. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, Thanks. Yeah. Okay, we're out of here, kids. Okay, well, thanks for everything. We'll see you later. Great, say goodbye. Uh, <laughs> hey, listen, listen, you guys don't have to get arrested to stop in and say hello, you know. We'll call you next week. 911. Easy to remember. <laughs> what if we had sex at Fisherman's Wharf? Fisherman's Wharf. Let's see. Yeah, the police patrols are 18 minutes apart. 18 minutes. I don't know if that's uh, enough time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Save it for your letter to Penthouse, buddy. Hey! Hey, what's going on? We're getting that duck back. Really? I thought you gave up on that idea. No, I uh, gave up getting arrested. Hey, check this out. Yeah, this is a highly classified database of the San Francisco Police Department. Really? How'd you get it? It was on the internet. <laughs> what about uh, Haight-Ashbury? No. Nah. Won't get us the duck back. Jane's done it there. Alcatraz? Jane. Golden Gate Bridge? Twice. Second time she kept a guy from jumping. <laughs> you know, there's something I really like about that Jane, but I can't quite put my finger on it. <laughs> Wait a minute. How did we win the duck on a lousy trolley car? She spotted me 100 points because it was you. <laughs> yeah, how about that? Your sex handicap's higher than your golf handicap. Hey, honey, how about we do it right in the middle of your golf course next Sunday? Oh, gee, honey, I was kind of hoping to play next Sunday. Okay. Hey, how about where you work? Jane. Oh, sorry. I was just fantasizing for a second. I'm talking right in front of the courthouse on the steps to the main entrance. Ooh, I like it. It's bold. It's daring. It's risky. So we'll do it at, like, what? Four in the morning. It's against the rules. There are rules? Yeah, the duck can't be one between midnight and 8 a.m. Wouldn't be bold. It wouldn't be daring. Wouldn't be risky. <laughs> Okay, so try to find some place that would work tomorrow night, say, 9, 10 o'clock. Wait a minute. Aren't you going to watch the last episode of Seinfeld? Oh, yeah, forget that. Friday night. Oh. <laughs> Hang on, not so fast. Dharma, I want to get the duck back as much as you do, but everybody in the country is going to be watching the last episode of Seinfeld. Exactly. Oh. So you're saying... Butter up your zipper, because tomorrow we ride. <laughs> Hot and heavy, come in. This is emission control. Over. Theta was funny the first hundred times. Now it's over. Over. Are you in launch position? Over. <laughs> We're still on route. Uh, man, is it eerie out here. There's not a soul in sight. The show hasn't even started yet. I'll keep an eye on it for you. Tell you when they go to commercial or a boring part with George's parents. Over. <laughs> hey, your phone's ringing. Hello? Pete, why don't we just use the phone? Because <laughs> we got walkie-talkies. Tell her it's a guy thing. Over. Yeah. <laughs> Roger on a guy thing. Over. Dharma, it's a guy thing. Okay, I get it. Over and out. Dharma, you don't say over and out on the phone. Girls. Copy. Hey, where's Dharma? Well, she's out. They're both out. So what are you doing here? I I'm just watching the last episode of Seinfeld. Uh-huh. What's the walkie-talkie for? <laughs> it's a dog toy. We're at the, uh... Steps of the courthouse, let us know when it's safe to commence foreplay. <laughs> All right, 
copy on the foreplay out. <laughs> They're going for the duck. <laughs> They're using Seinfeld as cover, and you're helping them. Wait, wait, wait. Who are you calling? I'm not giving up the duck that easy. Putting a stop to this. I can't let you do that. Yes, you can. Because as soon as I'm off the phone, I seduce you over to my side. <laughs> okay. Should we just go? No, we're supposed to wait for Pete's signal. Well, where is he? Emission control, this is hot and heavy. Come in. Hello, Pete. Come in. Pete. Hello, Pete. Come in. Touch it, and the fun is over. Okay. But how exactly is this seducing me? You know you love it. <laughs> Come in. Breaker, breaker? Something's wrong. Maybe we should bail. Greg, the streets are still empty. What about the cops? The cops are all watching Seinfeld! <laughs> Can you believe this? This whole city's inside watching TV. I know. Push our luck. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. Come on. <laughs> Isn't this so cool? I know. I think we're going to get away with it. <laughs> oh, that Kramer. <laughs> Oh, man, that was close. Are you okay? I don't know if I can do this, Dharma. Okay, listen to me, Greg. Imagine that we're on a desert island, laying on the beach, making love while the waves crash over our naked bodies. Are we wearing sunscreen? <laughs> Come on. Montgomery, what are you out here? <laughs> Just, um... Uh, uh, trying out our new pool raft. <laughs> Want to try it out in your pool? Uh, Don't have one. Yet. Yet. I if we like the raft, we're gonna get the pool. <laughs> uh -huh. Are you okay? We're fine. Mr. and Mrs. Fine. Uh, don't worry about us. You don't want to be late to watch Seinfeld. Yeah, right. My whole family's sitting home watching Seinfeld. <laughs> He's a nice guy. How do you know? He's my new boss. <laughs> Harder. We're going to do the regular stuff, too, right? Edward, you don't have to put money in the meter. It's after 6 o'clock. Well, better safe than sorry. What the hell are my parents doing? Gene probably called them. Why? Okay. See, it's called duck block. And you're totally you allowed... Come on! <laughs> exactly did the reporter say? Well, she said that Greg was going to hold an emergency press conference on the steps of the courthouse. <laughs> Obviously, it was a prank call. Well, who would have done such a thing? Oh, probably Ding Dong Dharma. <laughs> did she just call me Ding Dong? Dharma, I think we have bigger problems. Well, sure, she didn't call you Ding Dong. <laughs> I remember the first time we came here. What are you talking about? We went into that building across the street to get our marriage license, then we came back over here and we shared a hot pretzel. <laughs> I can't believe you remember that. It was one of the best days of my life. Edward, that is the sweetest thing you have ever said to me. Oh, you. Oh, Edward. <laughs> Oh! Don't worry, there's nobody about. Everybody's home watching that show about the Jewish fellow. Yes, but... Da, 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 
But, but... Remember, the best way to spice up your marriage is to do it someplace we can get caught. That's what Ding Dong always says. <laughs> that time, I definitely heard Ding Dong. Well, if I could ever look her in the eye again, I'll yell at her. Now we've got to get out of here. I don't think we can without them seeing So us. I'm supposed to just sit here while my parents are... I can't even say it. <laughs> oh, my. What do we have here? <laughs> Fourth Amendment search and seizure, Fifth Amendment self-incrimination. You know I'm gonna forgive your mother for the name calling, because what they're doing right now is so good for their marriage. Fifth Amendment speedy trial, Seventh Amendment. Oh, me like. <laughs> That's it. We're getting out of here. Oh, Captain, my Captain. <laughs> well, there's still a half hour left to Seinfeld. Where do you want to go? All night therapist. Well, Greg, stop joking around. We're running out of time. Well, I don't think I can do this, Dharma. I'm seriously traumatized. Fine, we'll just go home, I guess. Thank you. I mean, you know, parents have a better sex life than ours, so what? Ghirardelli Square, and I know what you're doing. It still works. <laughs> This isn't leading to sex at all, is it? Never know. <laughs> hey, Kramer, how does he get himself in situations like that? Well, excellent gambit with Greg's parents. Thank you. I was hoping you'd recognize my evil genius. <laughs> Nevertheless, we escaped, and your insidious plan has been thwarted. Dharma, why are you talking like you're in a bad spy movie? It's part of the rules. Oh. Thwarted? I don't think so. You've been duck locked. Oh, contract. We're going to do it in the middle of Ghirardelli Square. Duck mate! Dharma, why did you tell her where we're going? Don't worry. She'll think I'm lying. Right now, she's probably on her way to the Golden Gate Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to Ghirardelli Square. What makes you think that? She told me. See ya, smoothie. Wait a minute. We're not done here. You got the other leg. And sex. I guess I got the rest of my night planned. <laughs> Kramer. Greg, we only have 15 minutes! Where do they come up with this stuff? <laughs> well, let's get to it. That's enough foreplay for me. <laughs> Greg and Dharma. <laughs> Done. Done? No, nobody said it had to be good. You're right, we did it. We did it really bad, but we did it! Come on, let's get dressed. Hey, where are the raincoats? Well, they were right here. to the duck. Keep running! <laughs> Kill me. Kill me 
first. Hey, you know what, Kitty? Greg and I worked really hard, but I think you guys deserve this. <laughs> what is it? It's a duck. That's not a duck, it's a goose. Yes, but Captain, my Captain Goose, does not rhyme. <laughs>